Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to today's live. If it's your first live with me here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alexandra Trev, and I help you reach your goals and say yes to what you actually want, what you really want deep down that you might be scared to admit by teaching you how to master your energy. And so reaching our goals, going for what we want, and finding our own unique path to success has a lot to do with how we were raised, with how we were programmed to believe how we are able to achieve success, how we are able to achieve an outcome. And the primary way most of us have been programmed to achieve an outcome, to achieve a goal, is through sheer hard work. So through the narrative that if I work harder, I will be more successful. If I put in more hours, more will get done. If I do more reach outs, more calls, more exertion, I like to call it blood, sweat, and tears. If I do more things, I will get more things. That's a foundational belief for a lot of people, myself included. And I mean, I learned the hard way you could say that that isn't necessarily true. Just because you work hard doesn't mean you're going to have a lot of money. Doesn't mean you're going to be happy. Doesn't mean success is going to find you. It's just an inaccurate narrative. Hard work doesn't equal any guarantee for anything. And so a lot of you here or a lot of my clients have realized that they've lived a lot of their life as women in their masculine energy, in the exertion, in the force, in the making things happen and being a good student and going to grad school or having two jobs or just doing the thing to hustle and grind. And it's just like, we're exhausted. This is not the vibe anymore. And there's a deeper desire to what a lot of us want. And a lot, what a lot of us want is to live a life that feels good in our body, that feels free, that feels expressive, that feels authentic, that feels open. And in order to live that sort of life, that feels all of those sort of ways, we're kind of lost because we're like, how do I still get results, but also feel good. Those two things have been butting heads for so long because for so long I was taught I have to hustle and grind and blood, sweat and tear in order to get a result. So what do I do now? I'm confused. And this is where energetics, energy enters the conversation. Energy enters the conversation here. And when we talk about energetics or manifesting or utilizing our own individual vibe to facilitate the experience of our results, what happens is we start to learn to, ex to achieve results in a new way, not just by what we do. Yes, we still have to take action, of course, but also by who we are while we do that thing. And I say this all the time, who we are while we do that thing. So while we go, let's say we're trying to lose weight. So while we go to the gym or while we meal prep or who we are while we go and build the business and create content or who we are when we start to network and build new relationships and new community, who we are in our essence, in our character, in our being, our energetic vibration inside who we are while we go and do that thing makes all the difference to the types of results that we get. So if we're doing all of our action, if we're building our business, if we're creating relationships, if we're going on dates, if we are going to the gym from this energy of forcing it and being resentful around it and saying, I don't want to do this and this is something I have to do and just frustration, we're going to create results that mirror and that reproduce more frustration, more force, more resentment. But if we're going and taking all of those actions from a place of flow and inspiration and excitement, we're going to create more experiences of flow, inspiration and excitement because our vibration determines our reality. And 
if you don't like the reality that you're living, if we don't like the results that we're getting, we need to go back and look at our vibration, not just what we're doing, but also who we are individually as we go and do that thing. And when it comes to mastering our energy and taking responsibility for our vibration, today I want to go into the concept of time. Because when we're working with energetics, when we are working with consciousness, when we are working with vibration, when we are working with the universe, having our back and higher intelligence and source spirit, light energy, we have got to be in the present moment in order to attract and open up and receive synchronicity, opportunities, miracles, new connections. Think about any time something random happened, like you met, you met someone that you just vibed with, that you just clicked with, or you randomly got a job offer, or just things kind of seem to happen out of nowhere. Think about a time in your life when that happened. When that happened, I guarantee you, you were in the present moment. I have an example, a small example. Once when I was living in California, when I was still um, working as a chiropractor, and it was right after I, or right as I was about to graduate uh, graduate school, and before I opened my own clinic, I had applied to different jobs and I had no idea what was going to happen next. And I was at a music festival. I was at Lightning in a Bottle. And, and as I was at Lightning in a Bottle, I came back from it. I was, as I mentioned, I was in California. I came back from it from an email with an email that I had gotten, that I had received an offer from one of the jobs that I applied to. And that before going to that festival, I was so stressed. I was so like, uh, what's enough money to make? Like, what do I ask for? Like, what kind of environment do I want to be in? And I was so stressed out. But at the festival, I was so in the present moment. I was so open and available for anything to happen because I wasn't hyper fixating on what, what's going to happen. How is this going to work out? And... That's an example of how an opportunity just found me without me having to do anything besides be in the present moment. Another example is one of my patients when I did have my own clinic, one of my patients, it was during COVID, ended up becoming one of my best friends. If you're watching this, you know who you are, shout out. But one of my patients just walked into my door out of nowhere. She was with a different, um, she was with a physical therapist and she came over to, to chiropractic to see me and we just hit it off and now we're friends completely outside of the clinic. I don't, I'm not even a chiropractor anymore. And we live on opposite sides of the country. She still lives in LA. So these, think about these opportunities, these experiences in your life when things just started to happen, when it felt like magical and just like, wow, we want our life to feel like that. We want to open up to miracles. We want to open up to synchronicity, to serendipity, to opportunity. But in order to be open to that, we have to be in the present moment. We have to be present with what we're doing, which can be really hard. And the, the primary reason why it's hard comes back to feeling stuck in a fight or flight mode, being dysregulated in our nervous system. And the primary reason that we're dysregulated in our nervous system, that we're stuck in fight, flight, or freeze, that we're in survival mode, is from unprocessed emotions from our past. So this could be childhood, this could be teenager, this could be young adult, this could be something that happened last week. But a time when we felt immense sadness, anger, frustration, shame, guilt, fear, and that feeling wasn't fully felt in our body. We might, we might have felt it a little bit, but we kind of shut it down because maybe it wasn't safe to feel our emotions or maybe we didn't know how to feel our emotions. We never were taught or maybe we weren't allowed to cry or maybe we wanted to protect ourselves. So we just sucked it in, whatever it may be. All of those times of that low grade repression of our emotional responses to life accumulate in our body and are stored in our nervous system. 
And now our nervous system is fighting this internal battle every single day, trying to fight, put down the anger and put down the fear and put down the shame and put down the, the guilt and the sorrow and all of these things that are stuffed deep, deep, deep inside. So when we go to live our life, when we go to say yes to our goals, we're not in the present moment. We're in our head. We're in our head trying to protect ourselves from more anger, trying to numb ourselves from other sadness trying to control the outcome so that we don't feel ashamed. We're all guilty of it. This is just life. This is a human experience. And I used to like work on manifesting so much through trying to tap in to the future, trying to get the future vibration into my present state right now. And I've manifested things like that. And I'll do a separate a separate live on how to manifest from our mood and from our identity because I would I would manifest from my mood like inconsistently I'm still working on that but I would I would try to tap in and you if you follow any energy coach or quantum or manifesting coach they're all going to be like tap into the emotional experience of what it would be like to make a million dollars to be with the love of your life to live in your dream home to have your dream body whatever the thing is tap into those feelings and feel it now tap into those feelings and feel it now which is very true to an extent. You can tap into the future and feel it now and manipulate reality based on that energetic frequency that you're putting out and communicating to the universe. However, if we have unprocessed emotions and feelings and intensities inside of our nervous system from the past, we will never consistently manifest we might just manifest out of the blue and then it doesn't stay or we won't manifest at all and we'll have to rely on our blood, sweat and tears again. We won't be open for miracles and opportunities and serendipity because everything will be from predictability and not possibility, but just what makes sense and what adds up on paper and no room for our mind to be blown. Because we are unable, we are either unable to be in the present moment to receive the opportunities and the synchronicities available for us, or we're so focused on the future, future manifesting, that we're further suppressing and repressing these emotions that have never been processed deep in our nervous system. So in order to effectively utilize our energy towards our goals, in order to effectively master our energy to create a life that we love we have to feel our emotions and this is work i do with my clients this is somatic work and there's a bunch of videos i have on here on different platforms about kind of getting into your body and creating a safe space to get into your body but that's not what i'm going to go into today today i want to go more into time because in order to manifest in order to meet the right person in order to run into the love of your life in the street in the middle of the street in order to have a check of thirty thousand dollars show up at your door these are things that i've experienced in order for any of that you've got to be in the present moment but it's absolutely impossible to be in the present moment if we have these stuck emotions from our past inside of our body so i'm going to show you i have this drawing here behind me i'm going to show you what it looks like to live in the past or to live in the future and invite you today to start living in the present moment this is something i'm really working on is being present i've even i'm going live more i'm filming more videos because i feel like i'm in my flow state i'm in my deep presence in my essence when i am filming and so a lot of becoming present also means returning to the things that make you feel alive which slowly but surely create a life that feels good for you. But for me to be present, a lot of us, for, for us to be present, this is a side note, for a lot of us to be present, we do substances. Like we want to have a drink because it numbs out the mind. It calms down the anxiety and we just have a drink and I can be present, you and me, and we're just having a chat and nothing else matters in the world. Same thing with drugs or substances. People go have a cigarette. They, they have their moment of peace because it calms down the nervous system temporarily. 
temporarily, not, not long-term, <laughs> not what I'm advocating for. I'm just saying this is why we desire these substances or even like to travel, you know? I use travel for this for a long time, like just to try, it just helps me stay present. I'm just so immersed in what I'm doing. But when I'm just showing up and doing work or doing the dishes or making my bed or doing something that's every day, it's like my mind is going a million miles a minute. But the less present I am, the less available I am to receive synchronicity, opportunity, proper connections to actually reach my goals faster. So I'm slowing myself down by not being in the present moment. And all energy, God, source, universe works in the present moment. You can only receive anything that you desire in the present moment. And so what it looks like, I'm going to show you this chart here. What it looks like. Okay, let's go here. So where's my marker? Where is it? One second, let me go grab my marker. It's right over there. Okay, so what it looks like to live in the present moment is this middle guy right here. So you are living just with whatever you're doing. So right now, I'm present with you. I'm sitting on the floor. I teach and speak better when I sit on the floor. I'm... I'm looking at the colors. I'm looking at myself in my reflection. I'm teaching this something that I really love and I really care about to you, right? I'm in the flow. I'm in the zone. I'm in the present moment. Yeah, there might be some scattered thoughts about what's going on in my personal life, but it's much easier to be present because I'm doing something that I love, right? So when I'm present, and this can be in anything, you can be present when you're going through a car wash. You can be present when you are paying bills. You can be present when you're having a really hard conversation or feeling your emotions. You can be present with anything that you're doing. But when you're present, you are so fixated on what's happening right here, right now in front of you. And this is where the universe brings us blessings, brings us opportunity, serendipity, and the right connections in order to reach our goals faster. But our energy has to be open and available to receive. You see how this like head here, I opened it up. It's open and available to receive whatever blessing is coming. So this is the present. But most of us, a lot of us are here living our life. But all of our consciousness, all of our thoughts and our feelings are stuck in the past. And so if the right opportunity comes, if the right person comes, if the right job comes, we cannot see it. We do not have awareness around it because all of our focus in our mind is focused on the past. So we're replaying an experience. We're wondering why that person did that to us. We're being angry at something that happened to us. We are reliving something that we don't understand. We are replaying the past. We are replaying the past. And so now we're doing all of our things. We're living our life. We're washing our dishes. We're going live. We're, we're taking care of the kids. But we're doing it mechanically through our body. We're not doing it in our full consciousness, in our full spirit, because we're not present. Our mind is running a million miles a minute which is like, no wonder we want to drink at the end of the day because can someone just shut up my mind? But the more we do this, the more we're in a cycle of perpetuating, I have to work really hard and I have to struggle in order to achieve my goals because energy is not on our side anymore. The present moment can't give us blessings, can't give us opportunities, can't give us things to help us reach our goals faster because our energy isn't there. Our energy is stuck in the past. Or, I'll move this a little bit. Or here, our energy is stuck in the future. So same thing. Blessings trying to come. Opportunities available. And what are we doing? Focus, focus, focus on the outcome. How is it going to work? When is it going to work? What do I have to do to make it work faster? Oh, let me just focus on the manifestation and not be present at all with what I'm doing right here, right now, completely ignoring a piece of information that could help me actually get to my goal faster, 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 faster. Or 
Let me foresee problems coming in the future. What might go wrong? How can I protect myself? How can I make sure I'm making the right choice? And you're just future tripping. And so again, we're blocked from any blessing, any serendipity, any opportunity, any right connection that wants to come in our life because we are now living in the future. And so it's important to take note of the three types of ways we can be living. Are we living in the past? Are we living in the present? Are we living in the future? And most of us are living in the past or living in the future. And the reason we're doing that is because our nervous system is dysregulated. Is because we have deep emotions that need to be felt and unleashed. And we need to feel safe to be in the present moment without constantly wondering what went wrong in the past or constantly curious and manipulating what might go wrong in the future and making sure that we do everything to avoid all possible problems. I mean, I do this all the time, but I'm working on it and I'm aware of it. And there's a really, it's a really simple thing to start living in the present moment. It's a really simple thing to, to really just sit there and remember and being like, I am living in a story in my head. I am making up a whole story in my head based off of pieces of data information that I have put together to make it mean something that I'm in danger, to make it mean something that there's a problem, to make it mean that I'm not okay. That's what living in the past and the future does. That's what happens. And then in the present moment, what happens to our vibration? We become into a vibration of there's a problem, of something's wrong, it's not working. And remember, our vibration creates our reality. Whatever our consciousness is focused on grows and expands. And if we think and we believe there's a problem, something's wrong, it's not working, we are going to then create more experiences that there's a problem and it's not working. And when it comes to the present moment and understanding time through a quantum lens, we get the grace and we get the the compassion for self to know every moment is a new moment. Right now is a new moment. Right now is a new moment. Right now is a new moment. And this is a concept I'm really playing into lately with myself and my own, my own um, energy mastery journey is that every moment is I'm a new me. Every moment I'm a new me. And I used to have a mentor who would keep a rubber band on her. Um, actually, I had two mentors who did this. Um, Mickey Agarwal and Gabby Bernstein and they would keep a rubber band on their wrist and whenever they would like find themselves lost in the story or lost in negativity they would snap the rubber band and it's like snap to reality I'm right here again I'm right here again I'm not lost in the story lost in the problem lost in why it's not working I'm right here right now and right here right now is there a problem am I really under threat am I really under attack and that rubber band would just help them stay present stay here stay available for opportunities, blessings, synchronicities, and connections. Because when we understand that every new moment, we are a new us, a new me, we say, oh my gosh, I have an opportunity to clean up my vibration. I have an opportunity to become present again. I have an opportunity to tap into trust and faith and hope. And when we take ownership of the present moment and saying, whoo, I just got lost in the sauce in my head for a second, but I'm going to come back to it, be here, be present, become open and available and decide that it's working even if I don't know how. That is truly cleaning up our energy, our vibrational frequency. And that's how we create a reality that we love and achieve our goals faster through energy mastery. Because the present moment, what is happening right here, right now is simply a reflection of the past. So if the past two weeks we've been stressed, fight or flight, survival, confused, overwhelmed, and we've been taking on that vibe, trying to manipulate the future and overanalyze the past, and that's the energy we've been taking action from, the present moment is reflecting that. The present moment is reflecting that. Which is, okay, I'm aware of it, I acknowledge but now it's like, ooh, I can actually control my next present moment. In three days from now, I can, I can shift 
What's happening? If only I would shift my energy right here, right now. And remember that every moment I am a new me. And I have ownership and responsibility to take of am I going into my past or am I hyper analyzing my future and decide I'm going to come back right here, right now, be in the present moment, decide everything's working and continue to take action from there. And the more we are present right here, right now and act in faith and purpose and intentionality and optimism, things start working. And that's how you start to manipulate and play with and bend time by using your energy to create the results that you want. And so major takeaways I want you to think about is one, if it's really hard for you to stay present, which is a lot of people, that's totally fine. That's where most people start on the journey. Like I had a breath work this session this morning and I did, I'm like, I know I need that at least once a week to be held in that space because I need to process all of these things that I haven't fully released in my body. I I had a lot of frustration this morning. I was making sounds like a weirdo, like, you know, like deep tones coming from my womb. It's guttural sounds, that energy that needs to be released that's stored in my body or else I'm carrying that low grade frustration as I go and take action. But how can I become open and available and clear to believe in myself in the moment and let go of that frustration? I have to do nervous system practices, somatic practices. So if it's hard for you to be in the present moment, that's okay. That's like a lifelong thing. Just know it's going to require us to go into the body. And this is something I do with my clients constantly and with myself. So that's, that's a very common place to start. And there's no, nothing wrong with that. If it's hard to stay present, just know. Okay, I have to get into my body more. Overthinking means that we're I'm under feeling, I'm not feeling my emotions, so I'm trying to make sense of it in my mind. And then as we start to feel our emotions more on a perpetual basis, then it becomes how present can I be right here, right now? How present can I be with what's happening right now? And how can I choose to believe that it's working no matter what? No matter what's going on. And when I'm in the present moment, how sharp and quick can I be with realizing, ooh, I'm stuck in a future story. I'm stuck analyzing the past and realizing, okay, I'm doing that thing again and then coming back to center and then showing up from that space and reminding yourself, my present right now is creating my future. So who I am right now and the energy I'm in and the vibration I'm emitting is deciding so much more than the work that I'm doing. And remembering that if you don't like the results right now, it's simply a reflection of the past and it can be changed. It can be changed. So you're always creating your reality. You're always creating your future. Give yourself grace and compassion. If it feels like things aren't working, it means we just need to feel our emotions more or we just need to become more conscious in the present moment. And that we were falling asleep to stories of the past or analyzing the future. And we just have to become more present right here, right now. And when we are present right here, right now, and walking in faith, even if we're having a funky, weird day, if we're doing the things to clear our system, feel our emotions, that our results are inevitable. And it just requires continued consciousness, awareness of who we are in the present moment. And that's how you work with time to master your energy to reach your goals faster. Okay, so that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank yourself for showing up here, for being here. I've really been studying time a lot lately. And there's really two sides of time where where when it comes into the future, you can use tapping into the future, like manifestation, the the feelings of the future, as the wish fulfilled, as Neville Goddard says, you can use feelings of, oh, it's already happened. It's already happened. And manipulate reality by calling in future feelings of having the wish fulfilled, of having your goal already reached. But that is impossible to do unless we have a clear and an open channel. And we've felt those emotions that are stuck in our nervous system from the past. So it all starts with clearing where what we're stuck and holding on to inside first. And then after that, it means let's 
get present in the present moment right here, right now. And then once we've cleared the past and we learn how to stay present in the moment, then and only then we can go into proper manifestation techniques for calling in the future and calling on those feelings. But I used to do it backwards all the time. I would just call on the future and vision board and affirmations and believe that it's done. But I wasn't living in the present moment. I wasn't open and available for blessings. And I hadn't cleared my past. I wasn't working on these deep-seated emotions that I was holding on to. So it's a process to properly manifest master energy and tap into all of like lucky girl syndrome. We've got to clear the past first. We've got to regulate our nervous system and start to practice the art of becoming present. Like, you know, the power of now, Eckhart Tolle, Tolle, I don't know how to say that, but he is very very skilled and articulate when it comes to living in the present moment, but something he doesn't talk about is clearing the past. And if, if you, especially if there's any level of trauma or anything that's gone on personally, we've got to clear the past before we're even able to get into the present moment. So if, if it is hard to be present, that's okay. I promise. We've just got to clear the past. All right. So this is what I do with my clients, all of this type of work. Uh, a really fun and helpful way that you can get started is downloading my inner child healing bundle because inner child, what is that? Our past. It's starting to heal and clear the past. So there is a video training, a meditation and a workbook. Um, I'll link that below. And otherwise there is an application in my bio. If you would like to explore or hop on a call to see what working one-on-one -on -one would look like for you. Okay. So again, thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. I will see you next time. And remember, you got this, you got this, you got this. I promise.